Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Alaska with tyrants exposed as he attempts to fraud at a prison. And when he is booted off the property, he goes to file a complaint only to be arrested for another charge. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I got the, uh, see, so these motherfuckers are rolling up on me all slow and shit. What's up? Oh, I'm just minding my own business. How about you? What's your name? We just wondering what you're doing because you're right by the jail and they just saw that you were pulled over. Yeah, I'm exercising my First Amendment right. What do you think about that? Well, as you are about to find out, the First Amendment does have its limits, of course, and you are not exactly allowed to film a prison or jail or anything like that because it is not, it is not a public Form. In fact, it is a non-public forum, you dumbass. And quit having such an attitude problem. That's part of the reason why you frauditors get arrested so much. Fuck. Let's get this. Dickhead motherfucker. Pulled over by the jail. What, is that a big fucking crime now? Is it a crime to fucking... Exercise your First Amendment right, you fucking dickheads. Yeah, this guy's going to be swearing a lot, and uh, add to that, he's about to call the jail itself to let them know that he's sick and tired of them coming over and bothering him uh, over all this. So let's go ahead and skip ahead to that, and I'm going to try to uh, edit out more of these uh, swear words while I'm at it. So let's carry on, shall we? Many, many minutes later. Control. Hey, why are your officers coming out and harassing me on public property about being parked on the side of the road? I'm sorry, what? Why are your officers coming and harassing me about being parked on the side of the road? Are you near the building? I'm on the public road. Why are your officers coming out here and harassing me? They got no business outside of that jail. Oh, really? And who told you that little bit of bullshit? It is the job of everybody in that prison to help to make the place secure in any way they can. And there are people that patrol the perimeter, you dumbass, to make sure there are no oncoming threats. And people like you who would probably go in there and attempt to cause trouble somehow. Like you're about to do. Unit 2 also copies. I don't know. I could have you talk to our supervisor. Are they police officers? Is anyone in there a police officer? No. Then why the f*** are they coming out and asking me what the fuck I'm doing? Because... Because why? Is... Would you like to talk to my supervisor? Yeah, I do. All right, hang on. A little longer than a few minutes later. This is Sergeant Eber. How can I help you? Hey, Sergeant. I'm wondering why your guys are coming off, off of the jail property and coming okay, and asking me what I'm doing out here on a public road. Who am I speaking to? My name is Cody. Cody? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Why are your officers coming out and asking me what I'm doing? So, I mean, it depends where you're at. I'm out here on the public road. Okay, you're parking a public road. Is there any parking areas around that? In that yeah, I'm on road? the side of the road. So they ask you if anything was going on or what? They have no business coming out here and asking me a fucking thing. So okay, I'm trying so to get to the are, bottom as have, to why they are have, coming out and asking me. Are they law enforcement? Okay, first of all, yes. First of all. Are they law enforcement? Yes, they are. Law enforcement. So they are police yes. officers. Not police officer. You just said they're law enforcement. They're PTO. Okay, so we have 
a job to do and it's to protect the facility and everybody inside they have no business coming out here on public property asking me what the fuck i'm doing parked on the side of the road okay did they ask you what the fuck you're doing park on the side of the road yes and why are you swearing exactly like that do you want to complain i'm repeating i'm repeating what you said did they ask you exactly i got it on video what they did it's on video okay so how about you calm down, because we're not going to be yelling over the phone here. Well, I'll be over there in a sec to park in the visitor in the visitor parking, and I'm going to be exercising my First Amendment right to film the facility. What do you think about that? Okay, make sure, make sure when you're driving by, you read the sign, okay? Yeah, I have a, Freedom of the Press is official business. Uh, sorry, but no, uh, freedom of the press doesn't mean you can go anywhere you want. Freedom of the press basically means the uh, right to publish your stories without government interference. That's all that really means, dude. I mean, try to at least read the history of the printing press and understand that at that particular time when that particular uh, amendment was written, that governments were cracking down on people using the printing press to, uh, well, talk about the government in ways that uh, wasn't exactly appealing to it. So, as a result, Printing presses were smashed by the governments of the world, and pretty much people were made to write favorable stories about the government. So why don't you try to pull your head out of your ass and actually read a history book and understand that? Okay, are we done yelling? I'm not yelling. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep talking. Yes, you are. I'm talking you normal. Are yelling. And well, I don't Free- know why you're, you're Freedom so of the upset. press is official business. Okay, so why don't that's all you gotta say. Did they keep bothering you after you say you were I don't have to tell for, them shit. Just like I don't have to tell you anything. Okay, I'm trying to get to the bottom as to why they came out onto the fucking road. You dickhead. Let's call them back again. They're not gonna answer, but well, this idiot decides to further play F around and find out after he attempts another phone call and he doesn't get what he want, wants out of him. So he drives into the uh, prison parking lot and starts uh, antagonizing them over there. So let's skip ahead to that, shall we? Five minutes later. <laughs> Come on, I want PD to come and uh, threaten me with arrest. Oh look, there he is. There he is. Well, here comes another one too. I'll have to get these names and badge numbers of these guys. Clowns. Who's that? So, Come on, what's your name and your badge number? Peace. It's 302. You're being trespassed from their property. For what crime? You do not have to commit a crime to be trespassed. This is state property. Yeah, I'm telling you it's public you, property, right? Sir, this is the state of Alaska's Department of Corrections. Yeah. You need to leave the property. I'm you on... can go to jail for criminal trespass. Okay, I'll leave. Thank I'll you. get his name and badge number first. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I oh, so, so are you sure? Group. His badge number is, uh, I believe it's 101. Are you sure that you want a Sir, lawsuit? I'm telling you right now, you're on the state of Alaska Department of Corrections property. This is state property. In the visitor section. You are being told to leave their property. They can okay. deny access to anybody they would like. No, that's not true, but all right. If you're going to threaten to arrest me. Yes, they can deny you the access to this place. This is a secure facility, dumbass. And if they don't want you there, then you have to leave. I mean, just try this with the Pentagon and, uh, well, you'll soon see that you can be trespassed and arrested too. But let's continue on with this stupidity, shall we? Are you threatening to arrest me if I don't leave, right? Absolutely arrest you if you refuse to leave. Yeah, let me uh, me get my tripod gathered up. You, uh, you really sure? I mean, we have the right to film in public on public property. 
Yeah, well, okay. You're I mean, told to leave state property. I'm just letting you know you're going to be held accountable in court. What was his name and badge number again? It's 101. Rue? Rue. Rue. And what was your badge number again? 302. 302. All right. Thanks, man. I'll be seeing you in court. We're going to have to hold you guys accountable for doing the wrong thing. Yeah, go ahead and file your frivolous lawsuits and see how far they go. I mean, these officers were only doing their jobs uh, in this case, which was just removing you off the property. And, well, they didn't do anything to you, so you most likely won't have a case at all, dude. But that's not the end of the story. He got, leaves here and goes to file a complaint. And, well, he ends up getting arrested over there because... He had previous charges on him, and he's probably still locked up at this point. So let's go ahead and continue on to that. Oh, by the way, credit to the frog for uploading the next piece of this puzzle right here, because I tried to download his arrest, but I couldn't do it at this time because my video downloader will only allow me to download... Uh, Live videos 12 hours after they've been completed, and apparently it was less than 12 hours since he had uploaded his arrest video. So let's carry on, shall we? Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on a story. So in the in the past, when it's like a, you know, like a public park or something, like say the post office or a police department or a courthouse or you know whatever, it right? Be, unless somebody's there for official business. Just cause the Supreme Court has ruled that press is official business. Right. Citation needed, please, because you frauditors are not the press, so drop that little act right there, dude. So I have official business. Okay. And you were. That's what I'm trying to get down to. I mean, are they. It, does the Constitution not stand up here in the press? I got the Alaska statue right here, you know? Um, 11. Point 76.110 interference with constitutional rights. Well, dude, is it truly uh, your constitutional right to interfere with the operations of a prison or anything like that? Uh, no, but you can be trespassed from any property in Alaska if you are doing anything that they don't want you to be doing, which includes, uh, surveillance of a secure site you dumbass and then i got united states code title 18 section 242 depri deprivation of rights under color of law which was not violated that's a civil rights law uh it has to do with race, sex, age, color and everything like that and that has nothing to do with what you were doing, dude. Which is the same damn argument I hear from a lot of frauditors of color of rights. Get a new argument, dude. It never works. Title 8, and I know you guys aren't federal law enforcement, right? But for this is what I would sue them for in federal court, right? Right. 18 U.S.C. 241, conspiracy against rights. None of your rights were violated, so you still don't have an argument there, dude. And at that, they they conspired specifically. You said. Yep, they they specifically conspired with the jail staff, so I'd be suing them too. So I mean, I'm but I'm now trespassed from there, so I can't go and get the names of whoever ordered me trespassed. Did you take the time? Um, yeah, you bet. So I. I want to clarify a couple of things. So, yeah. when I did uh, not a ton of homework, but a little bit of homework trying to figure out who you were, because I heard there was a complaint coming. Yeah. And, and it, you confirmed it by saying you have a Kodiak case. Yeah. So, on the Kodiak case, records show that you have charges pending yeah. for violation of conditions, because you're just going to say you're yeah. not supposed to leave I've talked to him Kodiak. about that. Well, he's, he, the judge left it open because he specifically said, don't leave Kodiak, don't leave Alaska. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, are you guys going to charge me with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because they're, they're going to, I already talked to the lady, it's on the video. She, they said they're going to issue me a citation. Right. We're going to arrest you tonight. Oh, you're going to arrest me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Okay. So, yeah. See, it makes sense that you guys would. So what is it? Can we figure out how much the bell is? 
I'd like to tell my viewers so they can bail me out. Uh, because it's from a DV, it's, it's, there's no bail in there. Right, it's no bail. Oh, so, so no bail. Disgusting, you guys. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Well, okay then. Let's uh, thank the frog for that uh, portion of the video. And also, let's go ahead and hear uh, what he has to say about the charges, shall we? I'm unsure if it's this charge that was uh, filed as date of offence 30th of July. Um, or, alternatively, they've added an additional charge which hasn't yet hit the court system uh, regarding another breach for his federal charge the other day. Anyhow, Torrance Exposed is in jail, awaiting for his bond to be set. And of course, the irony is that this all started at the Fairbanks Correctional Centre, and it's ended at the Fairbanks Correctional Centre. Happy Labour Day. Thanks for watching. And there you have it, a story of F around and find out. And uh, let me tell you something, this guy was incredibly stupid the whole damn time. And it really shows. And But as stupid is, as stupid does, and if he wants to act stupid, you might as well pay the consequences while you're at it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.